boys and girls. Today I will be reading out of On Strike 2 box set. And today is going to be focused on Play-Doh on Strike. All right, are you ready to get started? Let's do this. Play-Doh on Strike by Jennifer Jones. Tucked away in the classroom bins, far off and out of reach, are tiny pots of yellow command attention as the teachers teach. For the students know we're there and cannot wait to open us and play. In fact, the teacher gives them time to do just that each morning of every day. But you see, it's hard for the teacher to observe the kids as they go when they open up and squish us and yell, my favorite is Play-Doh. They squeeze our dough in desk holes so that we cannot be retrieved. They shove us in their socks or hide us up their sleeves. They throw us in the wrong bins or use the tools on us not made for dough. They bounce, on, they bounce us and are too rough with us. They don't seem to care though. Sometimes they mix our colors together until our hue turns sludgy brown. They knead us into ugly blobs and mold us into a frown. The worst is when they lick our dough or take a bite to taste. They should know that Play-Doh is not food. We must be put away with haste. For if they don't, we will dry out and turn to hard crumbles for sure. The children will discard us from their desk, wipe us all over the classroom floor. They smack us on the ground and stomp on us, giggle at the imprints that we make. No, it's not fun being Play-Doh. There's only so much we can take. Well, one day the Play-Doh had enough. They were sick of being abused. They wanted to teach the students the right way they should be used. They waited until the recess bell to holler to their buddies the pencils. Come swiftly, the Play-Doh told them. We're going on strike because it's essential. The pencils called over the paper. With the dough's help, they began to write. They detailed all the naughtiness that made the Play-Doh feel they had to fight. It said, We demand to be returned to our pots by the color of our lids. Don't act like you don't know what we're talking about, like you don't know what you did. You will no longer stomp on us or stick us in tiny cracks. From now on, you will play with us and then immediately put us back. These are the terms we stand by. Consider them if you'd like. But until you agree to what we've asked, we, the Play-Doh, are going on strike. The students return to the classroom to what is normally Play-Doh time, but their favorite dough was missing were they stolen? Was this a crime? Then one student found the note and read it to the class. The students could tell the Play-Doh was angry and not just full of sass. Suddenly, sadness washed over the students. They wanted their Play-Doh to return. Even though it's a toy, building with Play-Doh helps them learn. So they wrote back to the letter. They found heartfelt words to say that they promised to be better if the Play-Doh returned the very next day. And they did. We're giving the students another chance to treat us with kindness and care, but if they treat us unfairly in any way, we will no longer be there. So be careful with your Play-Doh. Don't just treat it however you'd like, because if you're not kind and considerate, your Play-Doh may just go on strike. The end. So I hope 
you liked this book about Play-Doh on strike. And I will see you for the next story time.